how to check how to check if you're running Xorg or Wayland Display Server on Pop OS Linux 22.04. Well, you know, as you know, with each passing day, the modern Wayland Display Server is making its way to all Linux distros. Although the legacy Xorg, Xorg X, X11, all same thing. I'm pretty sure. So even though the legacy X is still relevant and will stay, Wayland, Wayland is undoubtedly better in security and other performance aspects. However, X will not completely phase out anytime soon. Possibly never. So if you are running any Linux distro, how can you check uh, whether you're running uh, an Xorg display server session or a Wayland session? Okay, here's how to do that. That's what I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, so the question is, Wayland or X, which one are you running? And this is going to apply to GNOME desktop, and it won't matter whether you're running it in a, a, a Debian, Ubuntu distro, a Fedora, Red Hat distro, or an Arch, or Arch, or one of its derivatives. Okay, so, first thing we're going to do we're going to open terminal. However, which way you open terminal with your uh, with the keys, with the keyboard commands, or or just like like just like that with the mouse. So once we have the terminal open, we can get to work and key in some commands on how to check what session that we're running at at the present. Okay, the first way we're going to try to determine what session we're in is in the terminal, and we're going to echo out the value in this bash shell script environmental variable. So once you key this in, well, I'm not, I, I don't know if it would actually be a, a bash login, a, 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 I'm sorry, a non-bash login system environmental variable, or just be a system, a system, um, a login shell environmental variable. Probably more likely it would be a a non it would be a, a login shell variable. Either way, whatever the value is in this variable here, we're gonna echo that out. So once you key that in, pretty self explanatory session type. So once we key that in, we'll echo out what, what session that we're in right now. Okay, pretty pretty uh pretty simple output here. I'm in an X session. Okay? So so that, that command gave us the details about whether we're in an X or a Wayland session. And that's pretty simple. However, there are other ways as well to, to uh, determine what, uh, what kind of a display server session that we're running. So we'll get into another couple of methods here in a moment. But, but as you can see right now, I'm in an X session here, X11. Like I said before, X, X11, Xorg, X.org, it's all pretty much the same thing, X. Okay, another, uh, another method of uh, determining the session that we're in is using the, 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 main, no, the main GNOME settings uh, application, which is this big cogwheel here. So hopefully it's on your dock. Go ahead and click on that, single click and it will launch, maximize it, then uh, scroll down to the bottom here and it will be in the about section here. So there's a bunch to choose from, okay we're already there and then you can just kind of scroll up and down here and I want to focus your attention on the windowing system section right here, X11. If you click on it nothing will happen but nothing's supposed to happen because you just want to see what session you're in and it's pretty simple so you go to this main settings down to the about section and then scroll down there's other, some other information here too which is not really uh, relevant to what we're doing talking about here but it's a good place to get some information but anyway the windowing system is the X11 so so the, the other way was in the terminal here it's in a GUI and they both come up X11 and in the case, okay, so that's two ways right there, and there's one more way that I want to show you, and that would be called uh, using a session value.
But you can see here, X11. Windowing system X. To click on it, nothing, nothing happens. Nothing's supposed to happen. This is, so this is all you need right here. Okay, the third, the third and final method of uh, seeing what display server that we're running is using session values. Now you can find it using the login control, login CTL command, which is the systemd login manager. But remember, this only works for systemd based systems. Well, and you ask, okay, how do we know if we're running a systemd system or not? Okay, well, one way to do it is to open the terminal and key the, the top. If you just key in top, you'll get it. If you focus on uh, uh, process ID number one, you'll see system D. But it's, it's dynamic, so it's always kind of fluctuating. But so to isolate it, uh, take top, pipe that into a grip session here, and just type in the system D, which is what you want to, this is the name that, that you want to see if it, you know, if that's the session that, that, you're, that you're in at the moment, a systemd session or not. So just key in systemd and it should come back as PID1. It, this is essentially what this is saying, it's uh, PID1. So systemd is running on this system, we're in a systemd session as opposed to, uh, you know, system v in it, you know, serve, uh, with the service control, uh, with the service uh, control keyword. Systemd, we use system CTL. Okay, so we're in a systemd session so this next method I'm going to show you is going to work in this. Uh, it's going to work here because we're in the, we're in a system D session here. Okay, see right here, PID one essentially. This is the PID, PID number here one. Okay, so we verify that we're in a system D session. So we can go ahead and stop that, clear on that, and then we're going to we're going to type in the login CTL command here, and we're going to get what we're looking for is a, a session ID value. And the session ID value will be the C3 here. So we're going to use that to go ahead and determine what the display server is running. Okay, kind of threw me off uh, a little bit here. I was not expecting to get two, two ID values here for the session. So once I did the login CTL to get the, uh, the session ID value, I got two of them, so I keyed them both in. I, so I got two in C3. Here I did C3, and there I did two. So here's the, the command here to pass into login CTL to get the type. And you see they both came up the same thing, type X11, type X11. Kind of a longer way of doing things. Obviously, it's a little bit easier if you do it through the GUI or the other, the other uh, way that we did it where we just... Um, echoed out the value that was in that XDG session type environmental value uh, that uh, environmental variable so we just echoed out the value that was in that in that in that variable so this is a third way of doing it it's a little bit more of a longer way you have to know you have to keep track of a couple of couple of uh, flags and whatnot you know it's a little bit more not too intense but uh, a bit more than just using the um, the GUI settings or echoing out the, the value in, in a single variable. Okay, so that's about it. Um, so I showed you three ways of uh, determining whether, you know, what, what, uh, what session you're in as far as are you in an X uh, display server session or a Wayland display server session. So yeah, these are, the, these are just some of the ways that you can find out whether you're running. Uh, also, I also showed you the, if you can determine how to determine whether you're in a systemd session or not. And if it's not system D, it would probably be some other in, in, initialization sir, uh, a, a system like um, the old one, system V, I think it was. It's called so many different names. SysV init, whatever. And that uses that the service, the control the command word in the terminal instead of the system CTL for system D. So I showed you how to see what session you're in as far as the, the service manager and, and what session you're in as far as the display manager is concerned. So yeah, systemd or xorg. So yeah, you can run these uh, commands in your shell script. For you can also put them into a shell script so you can you know automate the process as well. Okay, so thank you for watching.
Yeah, I look forward to you. So, yeah, as a wrap-up, I just wanted to say, yeah, we checked uh, how to do all these things on on this uh, Pop! OS Linux 22.04. And like I said at the top of the video, these methods will still pretty much work in, in, in GNOME, in a GNOME uh, desktop session on uh, De Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, Red Hat, Arch. And if you have a different desktop, probably the... Uh, the 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 value echoing out the value in the system variable will work as well, and if you're in a system D, the other one will work as well when you when the, in, into um, login CTL. So if you have a different desktop, you're gonna probably have to look at uh, you know find out where their settings are, and there'll be a GUI where you could check to see what windowing system you, that you're uh, that you're running, and it'll tell you you know what session you're in. Okay, so thank you for watching. And I look for I look forward to comments and feedback. Thank you.